Ayo friendos, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be trying out two brand new products from Sephora. We've got the new Good Apple Concealer from KVD Beauty and the Bionic Liquid Bronzer from Milk Makeup. We'll be testing out them both here today and seeing how they perform and I'll be giving my final thoughts at the end. And thank you so much for tuning in. If you are ready to see me try these on and see precisely how they perform, just stay tuned. So friendos, I realize I'm starting out looking pretty weird today. My sister just came in and she's like, are you wearing foundation? So since all of my videos are a scientific experiment, what I've done is I have foundation down on this side of my face and none on this side. I know some of you like to put your highlight, your contour and your concealer on over top of foundation, whereas some of you prefer it underneath your foundation. So for the sake of this video, we're gonna do both sides differently. So I'm gonna start out first today with bronzer. I I do use my bronzers as contour. I wanna go to Sephora first, so we are all on the same page. So this is a $30 bronzer. This is what she looks like. This box was much tinier than how I expected, and I'm gonna say the same thing probably for the concealer. So for the bronzer, that's the size right there, we get 0.6 fluid ounces of product. Again, $30 at Sephora. So I'm gonna go there. What it is. A weightless liquid bronzer with skincare benefits that can be dialed up for a warm, sun-kissed finish or sheared out for a soft, diffused contour. Sounds nice. Says the finish is natural and the formulation is liquid. This is clean at Sephora, if that matters to you. There's some very interesting highlighted ingredients, including two different mushrooms. Very interesting. And then it says what else you need to know. This weightless hydrating liquid bronzer is 90% natural, clean, vegan, and cruelty-free. It builds and blends into skin effortlessly for a healthy, natural-looking sun-kissed bronze that's glowy but not glittery. The gel cream texture is easy to to apply and layer seamlessly over other makeup. We're gonna see, we're gonna put it to the test today, you guys. All right, so let's start out with it first and then we'll do the concealer second. And I did get the shade Time Travel. Ooh, this is very liquidy. I wonder if I need to shade this because this is looking kind of gross. See that? Uh, it kind of looks like, I don't want to say. Oh, this looks disgusting. It's like, I'm gonna hold this up so you guys can see. It's got a watery base on the outside. Disgusting. Yeah, not too attractive, but we're gonna see how it performs. So we'll start out small. And again, all I have down right now is Dior Air Flash. I haven't set my face or anything. I'll probably end up adding more, but I just had some excess on my finger. So let's see how this goes. All right, friendos, I think that looks really nice and natural. I'm gonna see if it can be built up. And indeed it can. All right, I'm going in on the opposite side here. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I don't like the way that it's shearing out on this side with no foundation. I just don't feel like it's diffusing out as perfectly as it is on the side that already had the foundation down. Now I'm going to use it to contour away my double chin that I hate. <laughs> I'm still not really satisfied with how much this sheared out. If I'm gonna be putting foundation over this, then I know it needs to be a little bit darker. So I'm gonna see if I can get it to build up. I'm 
Okay, so we got a little bit more pigmentation now. Now let's go in with the concealer. So from KVD Beauty, this is the Good Apple Lightweight Full Coverage Concealer. I got the shade Light 105. Again, I thought the component would have been bigger, but this is the size. And then we have 0.33 fluid ounces of product in here. So not a lot of product for $28. What it is, an extreme longwear, crease resistant, with the same hydrating, lightweight, full coverage as KVD Beauty's iconic Good Apple Foundation. It says it is a full coverage, with natural finish. What else you need to know? This concealer uses ultra concentrated interlace pigments, sounds real, to seamlessly stretch over skin for undetected Detectable full coverage. Blemishes and dark circles don't stand a chance. The applicator also mimics your fingertip for precision and a soft touch feel. All right, so let's see what's so special about this doe foot. Set an angle, kind of looks like a lipstick. Let's try her out. Okay, I'm getting a lot of product right out the gate and I do use my concealer to highlight or to lighten up and contour parts of my face that I want to be more highlighted. So I'm gonna do it just the way I always do. Now I'm gonna get to blending. So friendos, I feel like I need to tell you right away that this is more of a medium coverage concealer, more so than the full coverage that it promised. I can still see a little bit of my under eye circles. They are very dark today to be fair, but I definitely can see some darkness peeking through. All right, I'm gonna add my foundation on top of the bronzer and concealer and see how things turn out. Dior Flash Spray has to be my number one favorite foundation if I'm doing a type of contour where it's under my foundation. And I went in really light, but unfortunately the bronzer just got completely covered up. So I might could have tried it with a different bronzer. And right out the gate, I'm not seeing very much creasing at all. Yeah, I don't see very much creasing under the eyes. The formulation is just not that natural either though. It actually looks a little bit cakey. Like it's not terrible, but it's definitely not the most natural finish I've ever seen when it comes to concealers. Then for the bronzer, I'm an oily girl. So do take that into consideration when you hear my opinion. This bronzer is not really dry drying down. I prefer my bronzer to dry down. I really like the KBD Beauty Mod Con gel contour that came out earlier in 2021. And that's because it does dry down. It doesn't stay liquidy. And this isn't super liquidy, but for someone who is constantly oily, I know this is not going to dry down as much as what I would like for it to do on my face. Also, if you are planning to put your foundation on top of this bronzer, I definitely recommend you get a darker shade than the one that I did if you are my skin tone because it is it's just lost in there. I'm gonna put some more on top just so we can go through the rest of this video without me looking completely crazy and then I'll powder on top of what I have put down just so we can see how it looks once it's all set. I'm gonna set this with a mix of Laura Mercier and Drugstar Cosmetics powder. I would use my new Rare Beauty Soft Radiance powder. It's my new favorite, but I let my sister borrow it and I'm too lazy to get up right now. So here we go. Oh, 
All right, friendos, I'm ready to give my final thoughts on these two products from Sephora. So first, the Good Apple Concealer. The things that I liked about it was it didn't have too quick of a dry down. I had plenty of time, it felt like, to get everything smoothed out and looking pretty. I have naturally very dry under eyes. It's the only part of my face that isn't just a complete oil slick, but it's really, really easy for me to get crepiness under my eyes, and I really don't see a lot of that going on right now. Barely any at all, I would say. And it definitely looks better now that it's set with a soft radiant powder. I still think that it's a little bit on the cakey looking side. I don't think that it's a very natural looking finish. And that's me being kind of nitpicky. Like it's not awful, but they did promise us a very natural looking finish. And it's definitely a little bit more on the obviously makeup side. It's also more of a medium coverage than a full coverage as advertised. As always, I will play with this some more, try it out with different foundations and the like, and I'll be sure to update you guys in the future. Now the bronzer. I feel like after setting it, it just kind of disappeared. I didn't even set my neck. I don't know. It felt like it just got lighter. I might be wrong, but to me, it looks lighter than before. I didn't really like it underneath my foundation. Um, for one, on my skin, I felt like it just applied kind of patchy as opposed to over the foundation where it applied more smoothly. I might consider returning this and getting a darker shade to see if maybe that will pop through my foundation. But so far, just first impression wise, if you're looking for a more liquidy contour, I would recommend the KVD. If you're looking for something slightly drier, maybe like in a stick formulation, I would go with the Rare Beauty bronzer. And it is a must have in my collection. I have been using this every day. I've loved it so much. The last comment that I'll make about the finish is I can still feel where it's wet under the powder. So it didn't dry down. If you are dry, that that might be a bronzer for you. If you're oily, I kind of don't think that this is for you. At least it's not for me. I'm very oily. I really don't like it when my skin feels sticky. And of course, I'll be updating you on the bronzer in the future as well. Bottom line, friendos, if you already have a concealer and a bronzer that you are absolutely loving in your collection, I don't see any need to run out and buy these. I do think they're both very good products, but I can't say that they are fantastic products, at least not from our try-on video. Video today. So yeah, I'm not going to stretch this out any further. I really hope that you found this video to be both informative and a good time because I love making these videos for you guys. If you did enjoy this video, I would greatly appreciate it if you gave me a big thumbs up. It really helps me out a lot. It helps my channel to grow. Let me know if you have tried out these new products or if you plan to. Let me know what your favorite bronzer and your favorite concealer are. I always like talking to you guys down in the comment section below. You guys are so smart and so informed informative, and I really do appreciate everything that you bring to my channel. And if you've not done so already, I really do hope that you will subscribe, because if not, we'll both have to live in the sorrow of never knowing what could have been. <laughs> okay guys, bye!